Hello, welcome to our daily Godcast of evening prayer here on this Friday of the 30th week in Ordinary Time, but it's also November 1st, the feast day, the solemnity of all the saints, All Saints Day, where we look to all of the people, the human persons throughout history who have lived the good life. By the good life, I mean the holy life. They've sanctified their lives here on earth and have attained have attained sainthood. Now some of them have been canonized by the church in an official capacity, but countless others, countless others who us humans have failed to recognize or have slid under the radar, uh, countless numbers of other saints. As a matter of fact, to get into heaven, you're sanctified. You're a saint. All of us here on earth, we are in the formation process. We are being formed into saints. So we are partway there. Some of us you know, are, are further along than others. Some of you are further along than others. I shouldn't say me. I'm, I'm barely off the start line. But in any case, all of us, as we go through this life, our goal, whether you realize it or not, your goal is to become a saint. You want to go to heaven? Yes. Then you will be a saint. That's the long and the short of it. Only the only people that make it to heaven are those who are pleasing to God, who live a life worthy of his presence. Now God is capable of elevating anyone into heaven because of his infinite mercy. And we can look at many of the saints. Saint Augustine jumps right to the front of the line when I think about saints that have a checkered life, a, a, a less than holy life up until a point. And then eventually their eyes are open, their hearts are softened, they recognize God, they realize who they are and what kind of a relationship they're supposed to be in with our Lord. And then their life changes. And it changes for all eternity. Our life becomes a saintly presence for all. So later or earlier in our lives, we all have to eventually come to that crossroad where we choose sainthood, where we choose to live a holy, righteous, good, godlike life. Today we celebrate the church triumphant, the church in heaven, where all of our beloved who have made it to the finish line, who have fought the good fight and won. We celebrate them today. So let us pray that we too have the strength, the courage, the grace to likewise make it, make it to that <clears throat> sought after goal of attaining heaven, of being welcomed in to paradise, welcomed into our Father's house, where our Lord is preparing a place for us. So let us pray that we are found worthy to gain admittance 
and be in the company of all the saints that have preceded us. So let us pray our evening prayer on this beautiful feast of all saints. We ask them for their help, their intercession, their continuous prayer, and we thank them for their example, for their lives, for showing us the way, for marking out for us the path to join them. So we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance, Lord. Make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I saw a vast crowd of countless numbers from every nation standing before the throne. The Lord's revelation to my master, sit on my right, your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power, rule in the midst of all your foes, a prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountains. From the womb before the dawn I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his wrath. He shall drink from the stream by the wayside, and therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, we ask you to give us victory and peace. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and King, we are already seated at your right hand. We look forward to praising you in the fellowship of all your saints in our heavenly homeland. I saw a vast crowd of countless numbers from every nation standing before the throne. God tried them and found them worthy of himself. They shall receive a crown of glory from the Lord. I trusted even when I said I am sorely afflicted, and when I said in my alarm no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. O precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds, a thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, precious in your sight is the death of the saints, but precious above all is the love with which Christ suffered to redeem us in this life. We will fill up in our own flesh what is still lacking in the sufferings of Christ. Accept this as our sacrifice of praise, and we shall even now taste the joy of the new Jerusalem. God tried them and found them worthy of himself. They shall receive a crown of glory from the Lord. By your own blood, Lord, you brought us back to God from every tribe and tongue and people and nation, you made us a kingdom for our God. O Lord, our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things 
by your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain. With your blood you purchased for God, man of every race and tongue of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God. And they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain, to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. By your own blood, Lord, you brought us back to God from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. You made us a kingdom for our God. A reading from St. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. You are the temple of the living God, just as God has said. I will dwell with them and walk among them. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Since we have these promises, beloved, let us purify ourselves from every defilement of flesh and spirit, and in the fear of God, strive to fulfill our consecration perfectly. Let the saints rejoice in the Lord. Let the saints rejoice in the Lord. God has chosen you as his own. Rejoice in the Lord. <coughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let the saints rejoice in the Lord. How glorious is that kingdom where all the saints rejoice with Christ, clothed in white robes, they follow the Lamb wherever he goes. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. How glorious is that kingdom, where all the saints rejoice with Christ. Clothed in white robes, they follow the Lamb wherever he goes. God is the reward of all the saints. Let us joyfully call upon him, Lord, save your people. O God, through your Son, Jesus Christ, you built your church on the foundation of the apostles. Keep their teachings secure among your faithful people. Lord, save your people. You made the martyrs powerful witnesses, even to the point of giving up their lives. Help all Christians to give faithful witness to your Son. Lord, save your people. You gave holy virgins the gift of imitating the virginity of Christ. May those consecrated to virginity be steadfast witnesses to the coming of your kingdom. Lord, save your people. Your saints now see you face to face. Keep alive in our hearts the hope of coming at last into your presence. Lord, save your people. Bring all who have died into the company of heaven with Mary, Joseph, and all your saints. And give us also a place in the unending fellowship of your kingdom. Lord, save your people. Good job. 
gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, today we rejoice in the holy men and women of every time and place. May their prayers bring us your forgiveness and love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great Friday night, everyone. A blessed Saturday tomorrow as we celebrate this feast day of all souls. So more about that tomorrow. Hopefully we'll meet again. See you.